What's up everyone, Chris from Full Steam Designs. I've always wanted to do some videos from a first person view, but getting the right shot isn't easy. When using action cameras, something just always seems off, and they really get in the way. When I saw that Ray-Ban had come out with some glasses specifically designed for this, I decided to get a pair. So today we're going to see if they live up to... the hype. They have a few different models, but I went with the Wayfarers. They offer these with clear and tinted lenses. I went with polarized ones. They shoot a square video with a resolution of 1184 by 1184 pixels at 30 frames per second. This works great for Facebook and regular Instagram posts, but Reels and YouTube videos will have to be cropped if you don't want the black bars around them. These are also capable of taking photos at 2592 by 1944. These specs sound fine, but let's actually put them to the test. The first thing I noticed is that you really have to be conscious of looking at stuff with your head and not just your eyes. As you can see in this quick unboxing video I did, the first few seconds are completely out of frame. This can be a little awkward at times. These only record a 30 second video, which means you really have to be ready to get the shot. I noticed that using the button on the side of the frame wastes a lot of time. Fortunately, these have a built-in Facebook Assistant, which works with voice commands. Hey Facebook, start recording. This also helps with focusing with what you're actually working on, which needs to be your priority in the shop, especially if you're using stuff like a table saw. They have a built-in microphone. Not only will they record audio for the video you're shooting, they can also be used as a hands-free device for talking on the phone. They have built-in speakers so you can listen to music. You can control the volume by sliding your finger along the side. Tapping it once will cause the music to pause. Tapping twice will advance to the next song. That's also how you answer or end a phone call. Audio quality of the recordings is decent. Even with loud noises, the sound doesn't break up. This was actually a bit of a surprise. A small light on the inside of the glasses will tell you if you're recording, or if there's an issue like low battery. There's a couple lights on the outside that will let others know if you're recording. If you want to know how much battery life you have left, you can find that in the app. You can also view your clips here and transfer them to your phone. They say you can store about 500 pictures or 30 30 second video clips on the glasses themselves. These also take up a ton of room on your phone, so I try to get them transferred to my computer as soon as I can. As far as battery life goes, if I'm listening to music and shooting a lot of video, it seems like I only get a few hours out of them. If you're just shooting video, they seem to last a while. It's hard to put an exact number on it, but it hasn't been an issue to record a bunch of different clips and put them into a longer video. The case serves as a charger for the glasses. They give you a USB-C cord, but there's no charging block, so you'll have to get one of those. Overall, I actually really like these. I was a little skeptical at first, but they seem to do exactly what they're supposed to do. They look decent, and the quality is good. I'm also happy with the video and audio quality. If you're looking for a great way to shoot first person videos and don't mind signing over the rest of your privacy to Facebook, I think these are worth looking into. I bought these myself. This isn't a sponsored video, but I will have an Amazon affiliate link in the description if you want to check them out and help the channel out a little. I'd love to hear your opinion on these. Please leave any comments or questions down below. I'd really appreciate if you like and share this video with your friends. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I have a ton of videos on woodworking, CNC routers, lasers, and all sorts of other making related things. I'm even getting ready to start shooting some videos on the car that you guys just saw. Thanks for watching, and I'll see everyone over on one of these other videos.